Welcome back. Bo Jackson doesn't like unfair fines. That's why he holds a tatty sign and warns motorists of speed cameras. So imagine his surprise when he got a fine in his letterbox. He's back. Motorists haven't lost the love. <laughs> Bo Jackson, speed camera crusader. Yep, still doing it every day and night. Warning motorists of upcoming mobile speed cameras. It's so unfair. But Big Brother is fighting back, and wait till you hear how. They're upset because they're losing revenue. We first met Bo a few weeks ago. It's like a pretty hard time right now, and I don't want people getting a fine. The 17-year-old with a tatty sign who sets up down the road from a mobile speed camera trap in what he says are unfair locations. I'm doing it for the people who get done for doing like 4Ks over, 6Ks over, because they always park at the bottom of a hill. Most of the time it's at the bottom of the hill. So all the unfair spots, you're here to police that? Oh yeah, 100%. No, you'll never find Bo in a school zone. He's great at it, saving us all our licences. The police agree with what I'm doing. They think I'm doing like the community a service because I'm actually making people slow down. There you are. Have you ever had a fine yourself? And that's what's made no, you decide. I haven't this. had one fine. No fines. Not one fine. But Bo, since we last met, something's happened. Yeah, Brady. I full on got a fine from them. Two hundred and fifty dollars in the letterbox. But wait, there's more. They said that your sign was there, and that was left behind. Yeah, no, my sign's so what's right that? here. That's my sign that apparently I chucked inside the road. I put You'd that still in my bag. It. And that is the yeah. sign that we filmed with that exactly. day. So you didn't leave it on the side of the no. road. Did you say, have you got some proof? Yeah, I asked them for proof and they said, no, we have no photo evidence or anything. So who dobbed you in, do you think? I reckon it was the speed camera operators. They're the only ones that would do it because they're always around when I'm around. That and why happen. would they do it, do you think? Probably because I'm stopping all the revenue. So after that story went to air, someone got a little cranky. Oh, yep, they sure did. Straight after he'd mentioned uh, on the show that he's never got a fine, uh, literally the next day he gets a fine. So a bit of a coincidence. Bottles Bay, I reckon. Or yeah. Kurumbong, maybe. Perfect weather. Dan is Bo's proud dad. They've got somebody who can take down his details, take his number plate, but they can't even take a photo, you know. I don't believe it. 250 bucks. These days, apparently, the you can areas. cop a fine without any evidence. I'm not a littering person. All my friends know that I don't litter. Yeah. And there's half the proof. Yeah, exactly. You didn't leave your sign. <laughs> no, it's right here in the garage. Yeah, the evidence can't be there because the evidence has been in the garage this whole time. Yes, he's him. You're more popular than me, mate, which is not surprising. Uh, <laughs> You've got yourself a new sign since I last saw you. Yeah, this is a heaps good sign. As you can see, it says proudly supported by Tubby Signs. And they did that after seeing the story? Yeah, after seeing the story. They saw it on my TikTok too. Yeah. Like, which is S Cameras Love Me. And they just saw my efforts and wanted to donate me a new sign. Yeah, well, the paper one was looking a bit shabby. Yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Egg, Yay. Egg. <laughs> This fine, what are you going to do? Are you going to still continue to do this even though oh, you've yeah. been fined? That's not going to stop me. Why? Because they're not going to stop doing what I like to do for the community. But just because one fine that's false and not true, I'm not going to let a false fine destroy my whole, you know, time. And you're going to fight it? Oh, yeah, I'm going to fight it, bloody oath. Good on you. Well done, well, my I'm friend. not going to pay for something I didn't do. 
We went to Revenue New South Wales to explain Bo's situation and their response was, if he's got concerns about the fine, he should appeal. And Bo told us late today that's exactly what he'll do, take it to court.